name on your paper. First thing. Reading fingers ready, here we go. Solve. Use number bonds or five group drawings if needed. Write the equal 10 plus number sentence. Here we go, number one. We have four plus nine equals blank. So to use a number bond, we're going to break this four up to help this nine be a 10. So nine is one away from 10. So we're gonna take one away from four, which means we have three left. So now we can look at these two. That makes a 10 plus the three, and we know that's 13. So here's the 10 plus three equals 13. Now it says you can use five group drawings if needed. So if this is hard for you, then you need to draw it out. You can draw out your nine. So you start with the bigger number and then four more. So it'd be one, two, three, four. And then you can also quickly see with your drawing that you have your 10 and three more and that's 13 also. So you can draw to get your answer, but it also wants you to use your number bonds to get to your answer. Good way to check your work, right? Okay, let's move on to six plus eight equals blank. We're gonna leave the eight there. We're gonna break apart six. How many does eight need to make a 10? Eight and two make 10, so we're gonna have, we're gonna take two away from six. So if we take two away from six, what does that leave us with? Hopefully you know that's four, four and two make six. So now down here, this is where it gets the 10, eight and two make 10, and then we have our four more left over. So 10 plus four is 14, which means six plus eight is 14. Go ahead and do number three on your own. you're not done yet, you can either pause it and keep working, or you can come back to finish later. Let's read the directions here. Match the equal expressions. So they matched 9 plus 3 to 10 plus 2. They did that by making 3, taking 1 away from 3 to make a friendly 10 with 9, and two. So this is how they got the 10, and then plus two more. Let's try five plus eight. To get eight to be a friendly 10, we'll need to take away two from five, which means the other number will have to be three because two and three make five. And now we know that this makes a friendly 10, and there's three left over, so 10 plus three is the match. Let's go down to E, four plus seven. How many does seven need to get to a friendly 10? Seven and three make 10. So we need to take three away from four which means we'll need one more, because three and one make four. Now we have this as our friendly 10, plus one more. So 10 plus one 
is the match. Go ahead and do C, D, and F on your own. If you're not done yet, that's okay. You can pause it and keep working, or you can come back to finish. Let's do five and ten together on this side. Okay? So, 5A, we have nine plus two equals blank. We need to break the two up. 9 needs 1 more to get to 10. And you know 1 and 1 make 2, so the other part is 1. This makes 10, and 1 more, so 9 plus 2 equals 11. Let's go to B. 8 plus 4 equals blank. We need to break up the 4 into 2 pieces. How many does 8 need to get to 10? We need two. So what other number goes with two to get to four? <clears throat> Another two. Here's our ten plus two. So eight plus four equals twelve. Let's go to C. Seven plus five equals blank. We're going to break the 5 up into two parts. How many does 7 need to make a friendly 10? Needs 3 more. So 5 is made up of 3 and 2. Here's our friendly 10 plus 2 more. That makes 12. So 7 plus 5 equals 12. Let's skip down to 10 before I have you finish the rest on your own. Blank plus 9 equals 15. Well, this number needs to be broken up into two pieces. One of those pieces will be a 1 to make this a friendly 10. So if we know this is 10 and we need to get to 15, what's the other number? The other number is going to be 5, right? So now these two numbers go together to make this number. So 5 and 1 make 6. Pretty tricky, right? Let's try it again over here. Blank plus 8 equals 15. Well, we know that this number is getting broken up into two pieces. One of those pieces has to help 8 get to a friendly 10. So how many more do we need to get to 10 from 8? 2, right? 8 and 2 make 10. So now to figure out this other number, we know that this makes a 10, and we need to get to 15. 10 and what make 15? 5, right? So now we know that this number is made up of these two numbers, 5 and 2. 5 and 2 make what? Write it right here. Okay. 
Here we go. This number is getting broken up into two pieces. One piece goes with the seven to make a ten. So what number goes with seven to make ten? Hopefully you know it's three. Seven and three make ten, right? So here's our ten. What needed to be added to 10 to get to 17. Ten and seven more, right? So now seven and three make 10. I bet we could have figured that out a lot faster if we would have really paid attention those numbers on top, huh? Because we know that 10 and 7 and 17. But that's okay. We need to get used to being able to break numbers down. Okay. You're going to come back up here to 6. Remember, you're going to break these down into two pieces. 9 needs one more to get to 10. 1 and 4. Or make five. We had to take one away from five, which means there's four left. Here's our friendly ten plus four. Write your answer in. Go ahead and fill in the rest of this on your own. When you're done, put it in the done tub. If you don't have enough time to finish, you need to put it in the to be finished tray.